Hello and welcome to another episode of My Chickens Are a Never Ending Series of Tasks and Financial Transactions. On today's episode, I'm going to be building an extension to this chicken building here. So for those of you who know my chicken layout and maybe saw my other chicken upgrade video, uh, I used to have the house there in that corner, that's why there's a straw there. My dad's helped me move that, so that was step number one, making space. Step number two is taking apart the old, old chicken run so I can reuse those materials in this build. That's the first frame ready with the mesh taken off. Uh, my next step, once I've done the next frame as well, I'm just going to take them and I'm just going to cut them here and here. So I just have this portion here, which was the portion that originally attached to this side of the chicken bedroom, the chicken house, um, because that side still has these bolt holes in it. So I can just bolt it straight through those holes that were already there. One frame, two frame ready to go in. As you can see, <laughs> the ground is not very level, so we've got kind of a cantilever effect going on here. Um, do, 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 do. Might need to just jam some stuff under there. Or maybe when I put the end wall on, it'll just fix itself, you know. Oh, they're sleepy. Roop, roop. The old run had a cross brace in the middle of it the middle of the like two meter length of it and we still have the holes drilled for it so I think I'm gonna reintroduce it just to square this up a bit because it is totally skew with This piece here is not the dimensions of the end of the chicken house, but we're going to pretend it is because I don't want to cut sheets of chipboard and plywood because it's a pain in the ass. So let's pretend it is. <laughs> and if there's any gaps, those are for ventilation. Very important in chicken houses. <laughs> it's a bit of a bodge job, but uh, yeah. It's gonna work, it's gonna work. So I'm gonna have the perch running horizontally from here to here. I'm gonna mount blocks on the wood there and there, and that's gonna hold up the perch. I need to find a bit of wood that's gonna work as the perch. That's my next job. This bit of wood here is a piece of ash and it's the right length. It's a good thickness, but not too thick. And it was cut down last year. So it's had a whole year to season. So it shouldn't shrink any further. So I think this is gonna be perfect. I love using natural wood in builds as well. And hopefully it's gonna be comfortable for the chickens to grip onto. What I've done is started screwing in from the inside just so the screws stick out so I know where they are. Then I'm going to put a block here, block here, have my arm round the side here and work from the inside, holding it on and hopefully be able to screw it in. Blocks, blocks, stick, moment of truth. 
The stick is too long. Okay. No, we got this. We got this. We got this. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's good enough, right? How fat are my chickens? I need to go grab a chicken. I love it when you're soaring and it becomes like a full body experience. Like I'm supporting this end with my toe. I'm doing this. My hips are going. <laughs> it's done. This is the back panel. It is not the full height of that thing, but that's okay because ventilation. Say it with me. Ventilation. Very important in chicken houses. Very important. I'm not just saying that to do shoddy work. But I am partly saying that to do shoddy work. The uh, building inspector is in. Don't look too closely, oh Willow, it's very shoddy work. Roofing. I've got this roofing off cut. I'm going to try my best to stretch it out. Okay, so turns out you can't use a saw to cut the black roofing material. Well, you can use a saw to cut the black roofing material. And then the plastic melts to the saw. And you fuck up your dad's saw. Why are you using a hatchet as a hammer? Why are you using panel pins instead of roofing screws? Because I'm lazy and I can't be bothered trying to find a hammer and going into the garage again, basically. So... Plus, this roof does not need to be actually watertight because of the top. So, it's coming up to six o'clock. Uh, I have a meeting at quarter past. I have a meeting soon which means that I don't think I'm going to be able to finish for today. <laughs> the roof is on. It looks terrible because we didn't have enough roofing material, so it's only just stretched. There is no overhang at all. <laughs> the perch is there. I think it looks all right. It looks, it looks post-apocalyptic. It's a coop for Brexit Britain. So yeah, today I'm going to call it I'm going to call it there because I've got to do this meeting, but tomorrow I will come back and you come sit on your perches. Hmm? It's drizzly today, which is good on the one hand because my hair really needs washing, so I can just pretend it looks like this because it's been rained on. But I'm a bit of a pretty princess and I don't really like working in the rain. So we've just got to try and get as much done as we can before it pisses it down this afternoon, apparently. Let's get started. Day two, chicken house upgrade, part two. Apply for the doors, gonna saw this in half and get two like vertical doors and then add some um, planks frame out. Nothing is the right dimensions and I do not like being out here in the rain so I'm being even lazier with my cuts.
don't actually uh, know my family tree that well, like uh, past the immediate generations. So if I have any ancestors out there who are carpenters, I'd just like to apologise profusely for everything I'm doing today and did yesterday. Uh, and I'm sorry that I did not inherit any of your wonderful skills or sense of straightness ability to use an impact driver you know or the medieval equivalent yeah had a bit of a miscalculation because i'm not well i thought that the gap would be smaller than it was it's not that i'm bad at maths because i can calculate things willow i can do maths willow Okay, it's just that the gap ended up being a little bit bigger than I thought would be acceptable. So anyway, here is door number one. Look at that, that's a door. It's got hinges, it moves. I mean, there's a little bit of a gap at the top, but that's for ventilation. There's a little gap at the bottom, but that's for ventilation. But then when I tried to put on the second door, that gap in between the two is maybe, is like, that's too big. That's an unacceptable level of gap. So, scrap having two doors. What we're gonna do instead, I found this very handy off cut that's uh, almost exactly the right size. When you kick it into place, it's exactly the right size. So, <laughs> this is so bad. And when I want to clean out, I'll just, open this door and I'll get like a rake and I'll rake it out they they're not convinced I'm not convinced I'm just I'm not very good at woodwork I don't believe in straight lines this is the problem like do you see any straight lines in nature I'm looking at a, <laughs> I'm looking at my sweet corn right now and it's like um Straight lines don't exist in nature, they're an abomination and I reject their stranglehold over the world of carpentry. So last bit is, I just bought this little latch to um, put on the door, to keep the door shut. Because you know it's really these finishing touches that really tell people that you care deeply about the project you were building. Why isn't it moving? <laughs> what have I done? It's done! Well, it's done as much as I'm going to do it. Oh my god, it looks so bad. It is so cobbled together. Right, let me show you the features. So, featuring a roof, kind of, that's got lots of gaps at the edges. It's got a side, look, there's ventilation, ventilation. Okay, we've got this front here, it's very nice. Then we just open the latch and that's how I get in there to clean it out. Now all we have to do is uh, force some chickens to use it. Willow, would you like to come use your new perch house? <laughs> Cupboard. What do you reckon? <laughs> well, thanks. Hope you like your stupid new cupboard that I worked really hard on. From a distance it looks even worse. Oh well. Join me next time for more crimes against woodworking, gardens, chickens, and anything else. Bye!